right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room, and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. There was a couch, and um, Will was bent over on the couch, and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. But I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. Y'all, Will Smith is getting exposed for having a decades long affair and using Jada as a beard. Just when we thought that things couldn't possibly get any messier and embarrassing for Will, Will's former assistant came out with some hard evidence to expose Will for having an affair with his supposed bestie, Dwayne Martin, and everybody is shook. Will is now putting his assistant on blast for trying to expose this privileged information and he is threatening to sue. Y'all, this is some juicy drama right Right here because you won't believe the wild stories that his assistant had to tell. In a new interview with Will Smith's former personal assistant and one of his best friends, this man came out and said that Will is actually a homosexual. Well, Will has been having probably one of the worst years of his life, but it's only about to get worse because one of his former employees just brought some hard facts to expose his gay affairs with actor Dwayne Martin. It's crazy, it just seems like Will just can't catch a break. Now the rumors of Will being on a down low or nothing new because they have been going on for more than 25 years. But one of the first reasons that people suspected that he might be gay was his close friendship with Diddy, who is like the Hollywood poster child of alleged men on the DL. Now talk about Diddy being on the DL has been going on for forever. And several people in the industry have come out to expose him, including Wendy Williams, 50 Cent, Rapper Exhibit, The Game, and countless others. But the interesting part about all this is that one of Diddy's former bodyguards Gene even came out to reveal that he used to accompany Diddy and Will Smith to gay parties. Or that she was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. I guess that was, that's what Tupac was talking about the Illuminati and shit. It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with big old booty and shit. Nobody was gay no more. What the fuck is going on here? It's just a lot of, a lot of weird now this news had everybody saying like what but the thought of diddy and will smith being together was very shocking but when you stop to think about it it might not be that wild diddy had gotten exposed over and over as for will smith well listen it was like people were just waiting for the perfect opportunity to start spilling their tea and once gene made that revelation it was like people just couldn't stop talking then our lexus arquette jumped out on the train and revealed that will's first marriage to Cherie Zampino ended because Cherie caught him in bed with a man. Alexis wrote, when Jada comes out as gay as her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked in on him servicing his sugar daddy, Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. She being his first wife paid off silent. Y'all keep this in mind cause we're gonna have to circle back to this moment in a little bit. Now moving on, Alexis wasn't the only one who came out because in a rant against Jada, Trisha Paytas called Will out for allegedly forcing her male dancers to sleep with him. How about worry about your cheating husband and my male dancers, you know, when they didn't want to? Talk about that. But that's not all because Jaguar Wright also came out to spill some tea on how Will has affairs with multiple younger men in the industry. She claimed that he pretends to mentor the men, but then he allegedly forces them into a relationship that leaves them traumatized. And young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills, <laughs> Bashir Gray, Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed and I guess he was really sick, he needed a doll. But like I said, the rumors have been around for a hot minute, but in the past couple of months, there were some fresh rumors that Will's friendship with actor Dwayne Martin went beyond friendship alone because they were actually secret lovers. Now this might sound crazy, but if you add all the pieces together as well as the reports from insiders, including Dwayne's ex-wife Tisha Campbell, well, it's easy to see why people have come to the conclusion that Dwayne and Will have had some sneaky linking going on for a while. Okay, so 
So y'all remember how Alexis Arquette claimed that Will Smith's first marriage ended because his first wife found out that he was on the DL? Well, we don't know for sure if Dwayne was the man that Will was having an affair with, but what we do know is that Dwayne had a hand in breaking up the marriage because he introduced Will to Jada. He knew that Will was married to Sheree at the time, but he went ahead to introduce Jada to Will as a potential lover. According to reports, the reason that he did this was that Sheree was not about that life of acting as a beard to Will. And y'all wanna know the interesting part about all this? It turns out that Will and Sheree's marriage was not the first marriage that Dwayne had broken up because according to actress Lisa Ray, he is also responsible for breaking up her marriage as well. Lisa Ray revealed that she had introduced Dwayne to her husband at the time, but he went behind her back to introduce her husband to several different women and he encouraged him to cheat on Lisa. And when I introduced them, that was one of the worst things I ever did. Then that relationship, I lost my husband to Dwayne Martin and they became better friends than what me and my husband did and I couldn't understand that. He became disrespectful with introducing my husband to different women and women that we actually knew as friends and associates. Well, Dwayne got his chance to slide his homegirl Jada Pinkett into the scene when Tisha left him for cheating on her with multiple people, both men and women. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but there are rumors that he was actually cheating on Sheree with Jada while they were still married. Now, Jada has denied this over and over again, but people don't exactly believe her for obvious reasons. But anyway, Sheree was out the picture and Jada in, and Dwayne and Will turned up their little bromance and took it all the way to 100 because they started going everywhere together and doing everything together. They would go on trips and holidays and even though they were both married at the time. This put such a strain on Will's marriage to Jada that there were reports that Jada was considering divorce. According to insiders, Will spends significantly more time with Dwayne than he does with Jada and the kids. And as time goes by, Jada is growing more upset about it. Jada can't stand Will's relationship with Dwayne. She feels like Will flaunts it in her face, hanging out with him every day and taking him on exotic vacations while she's sitting at home alone. I think this might be the point where people started to suspect that Dwayne and Will might be a thing because it didn't make sense that two grown men would fly all over the world together so much and ignore their wives. Like, the math wasn't mathing. Then Lisa Ray jumped back right into the conversation and hinted that Dwayne knew more about Will's marital issues than he was letting on, judging by her own experience with him. She said, I introduced him to my ex-husband. He got buddy-buddy with him and then turned against me. When I heard about him in the middle of a Will and Jada divorce rumors, I tweeted, sounds familiar. He really ain't got enough business. Now Lisa's comments fueled the fire so much that Dwayne's then wife Tisha Campbell had to come out and deny that her husband was gay saying, usually I ignore negativity, but I'm tired of the media attacking the Smiths. They're an amazing couple, and I wish people would stop perpetrating lies and leave them alone. But after she got divorced from Dwayne a few years later, her tone completely changed, and she also started to hint at Will and Dwayne's affair. Speaking about the divorce, she said, the truth always comes out in the end, no matter how hard anyone tries to hide it. Lies are just a temporary delay to the inevitable. She also said, don't have have to say a word god reveals all can't put a spin on that she then said and you're right they will lie till the end the real key key is people will stop believing them now y'all peep out she wanted to put will in all caps twice right yeah that definitely was not a coincidence but there's more to this story because something really interesting went down in 2012 that made people believe that there was definitely more to the story than met the eye and they were not tripping you see Dwayne had got gotten into some financial difficulties at the time, and he had gone so broke that he had to ask his boo thing Will Smith for some money to save his home from going into foreclosure. And by asking, I mean that Dwayne pretty much strong-armed Will into giving him a loan of $1.4 million, or else he would expose their affair and ruin Will. It looked like he had nothing to lose because his career had already taken a hit anyway and he'd already gone broke, but Will still had a reputation to protect. However, 
However, Will was reluctant to lend the money to Dwayne because he didn't want people to find out because it would be a PR nightmare for him. Now, according to documents, Will was scared of falling into a PR nightmare if word ever got out that he had paid Dwayne $1.4 million and his team told Dwayne's team. This is both a PR risk and a legal risk for Will Smith. No PR nightmare can and will happen here. Now, for average folks like us, $1.4 million is an insane amount of money, but Will is a millionaire. So why would he think that it would be weird for him to give a loan to his friend for more than 15 years? Most people would have seen him as a great guy who had come through for his friend when he needed him to. But the fact that Will was terrified meant that there was something that he was afraid of and his fears had come to pass when Dwayne started putting pressure on him and threatening to expose him. Now around the same time, Dwayne got involved in a court case where he was ordered to turn over his laptop and he refused saying the laptop also contained personal photos which were confidential, privileged, and unrelated to any legitimate interest of the court including confidential communications with other public figures regarding private non-financial matters. Interestingly though, Will ended up giving Dwayne the $1.4 million after that and I don't think that that's a coincidence. Dwayne didn't pay back that loan for six years until 2018 when he wanted to sell off his house and reach back to Will again. At this point, Will was tired of Dwayne's antics and he ordered his team to settle all business they had with Dwayne and put an end to this mess. In a leaked email, he said, can you list outstanding issues? This seems like we should be able to clear this up quickly. If we get all the points itemized, I can make the calls immediately. The point is to simultaneously get the books cleared while helping shake transition. I want to do it all in one final plan transaction. Let's move quickly. The fact that he used a code name for Dwayne just makes the whole thing very sus and it tells us everything we need to know about how desperate Will is to keep his affair hidden. Unfortunately for him, it looks like he only managed to delay the inevitable because one of his former assistants, brother Bilal, just came out to reveal his affair. Bilal sat down with Tasha K and revealed how he had caught Will and Dwayne doing the deed in Dwayne's dressing room. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will, you got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where is this guy at? Now to say that the fans are shook would be an understatement because the thought of Will being a bottom is just not something that we thought of. According to sources, Will is humiliated that Bilal spilled the tea on him like this because he goes out of his way to treat his employees very fairly. He treats them well because he understands that it's easier for people to be loyal when they're treated well. And this is why we don't see his former employees exposing him like Diddy's employees do. An insider asked added that Will is furious with both Tasha K and Bilal because he believes that the only reason that Tasha K did the interview was that she was deliberately trying to humiliate him and start some drama. Now Tasha K is known for coming for celebs and Will feels like she is just after some clout by bringing up his past affair with Dwayne. But as you can expect, fans have had a lot to say in these streets and they believe in comments like, when you look at Will, you no longer see a strong alpha man, you see a gay man. I felt like that for a few years now. Now, and I think this was a confirmation. I'm sitting here with the image of Dwayne Martin pounding out Will Smith on a sofa, burned in my mind. That's a wild story of truth. <laughs> and the Will Smith and Dwayne Martin thing got me convinced everybody in Hollywood bi or gay. Some are open with it and the rest just hiding it or in denial. Now there's definitely a lot of talk in the streets about Will filing a defamation lawsuit against Tasha K and Bilal. But do you guys think he's actually gonna go through with it or do you you think that he just needs to lay low and let this blow over? Drop it down in comments below and then check out this next video.